on that topic, sort of a little bit of a tangent. There's a, a lot of folks in the in the in the left community, uh, far left community, socialist community that I think are at the source of a kind of derision towards the B word, the billionaires. Does it bother you, or do you think that's in part justified? A kind of uh, using the word billionaire as a dirty word. I think it's perfectly justified, and that it's a popular shorthand, right? Um, so obviously, when I talk about inequality, I often talk about power dynamics, right, between workers and bosses and, and so on. Uh, billionaire is just the 99, 1% version of it. It's just a popular shorthand to just explain the fact that you know there's um, a lot of people who have accumulated obscene wealth. Um, these people aren't, in my mind, parasites, you know, in the in the kind of very, very old school um, socialist rhetoric, in that, of course, um, capitalists um, provide employment, take entrepreneurial risks, come up with new ideas sometimes themselves, like sometimes directly manage uh, work and whatever, whatever else. Um, but they exert so much power over the lives of not just their workers, but society as a whole, uh, taking away some of their wealth and power is a way to just empower others. Um, and again, uh, these things have policy trade-offs. If you if you just snap your fingers and say, um, Elon Musk, you're now um, all your wealth is gone. You're now you know on food stamps or whatever else in that kind of arbitrary way. You'd be a total, totally disincentivized people from trusting the rules of the game as they've been set up in a capitalist society. And I think that would have negative consequences for workers. But saying that, hey, this person has too much power and too much wealth and has too much ability to dictate things about the lives of of others, I think is just simply a fact. And um, I think it's true in the cases of people who are good people and and have risen to this position. And it's true in the cases of people who are maybe not so good people and are, who have risen to these, these positions. So I agree with you in part, but I have to push back here. So one of the problems I see is using billionaires as shorthand to talk about power inequality and wealth inequality often dismisses the fact that some of these folks are some of the best members of our society. So outside of the, the in, however the system has created inequalities, a young person today should dream to build cool stuff, not for the wealth, not for the power, the fame, but to be part of building cool stuff. Now there's a lot of examples of billionaires that have gotten there in shady ways and so on. And you can point that out, but in the same way we celebrate great artists and great athletes and great uh, literary icons and sort of writers and poets and musicians and uh, engineers and scientists, we should celebrate, we should sort of separate the, the human creator from the wealth that the system has given them. That, 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 that's what I worry about is like in our system, some of the greatest humans are the ones that have become rich. And so we sometimes mix up the, if you want to criticize the wealth, we sometimes criticize the human and the creator, while that should actually be the person we aspire to be. So, you know, I would agree with that. Um, LeBron James, if he's not already in his lifetime, will be a billionaire. Um, and he got his money largely through just being an incredible athlete excelling in his field more than anyone, you know, besides for Michael Jordan. I think he's my number two. He might strong be my number words, one. We'll words. see. Oh. Um, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to keep, keep an open mind about the LeBron versus Jordan conversation. But, um, you know, he got that through his merit and he's been rewarded. And a part he's getting rewarded because he's created vast amounts of wealth beyond what he's getting. This is just his share. You know, it's in a salary cap league. Uh, whenever he's doing an endorsement, obviously that company is, is thinking that he's worth more than what they're paying him for that that endorsement and so on. And to the extent with um, Elon Musk, people see innovation and they see someone who will put himself out there with sometimes crazy ideas because he's trying to think about the future and trying to just 
push things forward instead of just sitting on whatever money he has now and just investing it, earning, you know, 6%, you know, for uh, return for the rest of his life. You know, I think that that's, that's a positive thing. Uh, but I think it, it doesn't get to the broader policy question. When people invoke billionaires, they're invoking the specter of inequality and power. Um, it It's not normally the rhetoric that I use because I propose pose and I use more traditional um, socialist rhetoric and, and, and terms, but I think it gets at something real. So often with these sorts of shorthands we use in politics, um, there are, um, you know, they're imperfect, but they speak to to a real a real thing. Yeah, and they, they feed a little bit of fun that folks like AOC and Elon have with each other it creates. It, it feeds, it inspires, it serves as a catalyst for uh, productive discourse. 